Paris is crawling with bedbugs and the UK might be next. Waves of panic and disgust have spread across the country as travellers have posted videos of bedbugs crawling all over public transport. I don't know about you guys, but that was probably one of the most disgusting videos I've ever seen in my life. I have a huge bug phobia. When I was in dermatology residency, we had to study all the pictures of all the different bed bugs and spiders and caterpillars and anything that could bite you and cause a rash. And it made my skin crawl, just like my skin was crawling just now watching this video. Given that Paris is being overrun by bed bugs right now and tons of people are suffering from it, I thought I would make a really quick video today about bed bugs, how to check your room when you go into a hotel or Airbnb, how to diagnose bed bug bites, how to treat them, and what to do when you get home. And I thought I would make this video because people may not know that as dermatologists, we actually do study to recognize bed bugs. We also know how to treat them. And this is just knowledge that I think everyone needs to know, especially now when there's this huge bed bug infestation happening in Paris. Before I dive in, don't forget to hit subscribe and ring that little notification bell so that you won't miss any of these dermatologist approved tips. Just to start off, I am no stranger to bed bugs. Actually, back in 2017, my mom and I traveled to France. It was her first time in Paris. I was so excited to show her around. And we both woke up with 30 plus bites all over our body and our face. And it was awful, awful. I was super itchy and it was really embarrassing to look like I had all these red welts all over my skin. So I have suffered from bed bugs before and we were so scared that we were going to bring them home that we actually ended up throwing our suitcases away when we got back to New York. But I'll get to that in a moment. These little critters are called Simex lectularius and they are particularly hard to get rid of because they can last for months without feeding, without eating your blood. So yes, very difficult to get rid of. First things first, what do you do when you are traveling, you go into a hotel or Airbnb and where do you look, what do you do? Number one, do not put your suitcase on the bed or on the floor. The safest place to put your suitcase is actually in the bathroom because there's not as many crevices and places for bed bugs to hide. So get that suitcase rack, prop it up in the bathroom, stick your suitcase there while you do your thorough investigation of the room. So how do you look in the room? First thing is to look at the bed because that's where the bed bugs like to hide. Check between the space between the headboard and the wall itself because they love to hide behind the headboard and then pull back the blankets, pull back the sheets and you're looking for bed bugs themselves but also bed bug poop as well as little spots of blood that come from the bed bugs biting people. Pull off the blankets, take a look everywhere, and also this may be kind of gross, but look between the mattress and the box spring as well. And all the little seams and crevices around the mattress, around the box spring, around the foot of the bed. Once you've looked at your bed, then don't forget about looking at your furniture. So there's a lot of upholstered furniture in hotel rooms. And let me tell you, they are not always cleaned, right? Think about it. The bed sheets can be cleaned, laundered, washed in hot water, but who's really changing the upholstery on the furniture. No one. As you're doing your search in the hotel, looking at all the crevices and seams, it may be helpful to use a flashlight. So you can even use the flashlight on your phone and then a credit card or a business card, something firm that you can hold onto to really pry open the seams. So flashlight in one hand, credit card or business card in the other, and then just search along all the seams and all the little crevices that these bugs can hide in. You also wanna make sure to check around the nightstands, around the pillows, around any ottomans, definitely behind the headboard and on the carpets as well. And look for all those things that I talked about before. If you do find any little bed bugs or eggs or bed bug droppings or spots of blood, immediately leave that room and tell the hotel staff so that they know to get an exterminator in to really clear the area before anybody else goes in because that would be really gross for other people to then get involved in that as well. Tip number two is to bring large plastic bags with you when you travel. I think plastic bags are handy for travel regardless of bed bugs or not, but in this case, it can be particularly helpful because the plastic bags that are sealable, like Ziploc bags, can really help keep your clothing, your valuables safe. So you wanna have one bag for dirty clothing, one bag for clean clothing, and this will help protect your stuff. And so when you get home, you'll be able to just completely throw it straight in the washer and dryer. 
So you've inspected the room, you think you're in the all clear, you go to bed and then you wake up like I did over here with all these bites all over. What do you do next? So first, what do these bites look like and how do you know they're bed bug bites? A lot of insect bites can look very similar. They look like red raised welts. They almost look hive-like. There may be a central punctum in the middle where you are bitten. But the unique hallmark of bed bug bites is that bed bugs like to feast as they walk along your skin. So we call these breakfast, lunch, and dinner bites where they kind of bite in multiples. So you'll see multiple bites clustered around one area and it is kind of nasty to think of it as breakfast lunch dinner but the truth of it is that you are their breakfast lunch and dinner and so that is actually a helpful thing that we can look for to say okay I think that's bed bugs now to treat the bites, we treat them symptomatically. So we mainly treat the itching and try to prevent you from scratching so that they don't become infected. You can use oral antihistamines like Claritin or at night, you can use something that helps you sleep like Zyrtec to help calm down the itching. And you can certainly use a topical steroid cream like hydrocortisone or triamcinolone just to help alleviate the itching. And of course, if you're starting to scratch them so much that the skin is starting to crack open and it's starting to get infected, then you may need a topical antibiotic. But but the goal is to stop you from scratching before it gets to that point. So you've had your fun vacation minus the bed bugs, and now you're going home. What do you do when you get home? Because we sure as heck do not want to transfer these bugs and bring them into our house because they are very hard to get rid of as we've talked about before. So when my mom and I got home from Paris, we actually left our luggage in the hallway because we didn't want to bring it in in case there were any stragglers that were hanging onto our luggage. So we ended up actually taking out everything from inside our luggage and then throwing away the luggage themselves because they were kind of old. Well, not my mom's. She was really bitter that I made her throw away her luggage, but I didn't know back then what I know now. So what you can do is first just visually inspect your luggage and check all the seams. Make sure you don't see any bed bugs that hopped along on the plane. And then you can actually vacuum the luggages to pick up any extra bugs or things that might have come along. After you've inspected your luggage, then take everything inside and dump it into the washer and wash it on high heat for 60 minutes. And then into the dryer it goes, dry on high heat for another hour. Since you can't put your luggage and some other things directly into the wash. You can use a handheld steamer as well. That high temperature can help get rid of bugs and eggs. If you do find that you have bed bugs at home, don't panic call an exterminator, get professional help. This is something that is very hard to get rid of on your own. After the exterminator comes, be very diligent about cleaning up your house, getting rid of clutter, because when there's a lot of clutter around, there's lots of hiding places for these bugs to flourish and breed and grow and thrive. Also just checking regularly around your bed, around your nightstands, pillowcases, bedding, behind the headboard, all of those things can help. Bugs are my least favorite topic and even talking about searching for bugs is making my skin crawl. But I thought this was an important topic to talk about because Paris is being overrun with bed bugs. And also bed bugs can be found in any major city and any hotel, no matter how nice the hotel is or not. So I hope this video was useful. If you like these slightly shorter videos, let me know. Please comment below if you have any questions and I'm taking requests for videos coming up. Until next time!